was a little apprehensive, I think, this time. So whenever I play at him and play anything, he dragged his head real low. And as those uppercuts started happening, a couple of times I was aiming for the body and it just happened to hit his head. And so it worked out. Keeping the streak alive, 7-0, seven, seven knockouts. Did you expect this? Is overall looking forward for that knockout? You know, I'm not expecting knockouts anymore. And I understand that when I don't expect them, that's when they happen. So it's kind of like a catch point in that sense. If I go out there looking for the knockout, it never comes. If I don't go looking for it, then sometimes it happens, you know? But I just want to show my boxing ability. And I got two rounds now this time, and I think I did a little bit more. And so, uh, you know, just looking forward to the next one. It was a quick night, like you just said. How would you rate your performance overall? I mean, I'm getting better. I, I do believe I'm getting better every time. Uh, and that's you look what, better. That's the whole goal. You know, I just want to get better. I want to slow it down. I want to understand that I do have six rounds to keep things done. And uh, I think I'm, I'm slowly getting to that pace. You know, I'm still like, used to that amateur pace of working really hard for three rounds. And I can push that pace to six rounds. Uh, um, so slowly, slowly but surely, we're going to get there. Hey, Richard, hey. are you going to step up in rounds? Or are we going to stay in six rounds? Or? Uh, we're most likely going to step up. Uh, you know, this is a, a, team that, a team that we have to go back and talk to Topping about, and talk to my dad about, my coach, and we'll go from there. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm willing to do whatever it takes, and I'm, I'm excited for the future. Hey. Richard, Richard, uh, you didn't really break a sweat that much. You lost one a little, but you can break a sweat. Do you think you can get another fight in this year? I hope so. You know, I really do. You know, if you can cross that one, uh, if you guys really want to know, you got to ask Evan after this. Uh, <laughs> Hey Richard, when, when you have a fight that goes this short, I, I, are you you're winning by knockout so quick? How do you know what to work on when you go back to the gym and what you need to uh, uh, make adjustments for? Because we don't work on the things that my opponent did. We work on things that I did wrong, and so you can definitely tell within the two rounds there are some things that I do need to work on, uh, and we'll, we'll take that in stride. You know, whether it's a savaging jab a little bit more, whether it's attacking the body a little bit more, uh, there's a multitude of things that every bar can do and get better. And at the end of the day, you always get better in the, even your basics. Do you feel like being a, a quote unquote undersized heavyweight works in your favor? I mean, I think it used to before I got an Olympic silver medal. You know, now people kind of know who I am. Before it was I was an underdog, everybody wanted to come at me and everything like that. Uh, being on ESPN and I'm on this platform of top rank, it, it does make people a little more apprehensive when they see my power and they see my speed. But uh, at the end of the day, everyone's going to underestimate the short guy, and I'm, I'm happy to prove him wrong. What do you vision yourself? You know, obviously this year you had a lot of fights. Next year, what do you vision yourself next year? Having the many, these many fights, still looking for the knockouts, still looking to progress, obviously. You know, I, I think the beauty of being a top rank is I get to trust the matchmakers. You know, so I'm not really looking too far into the future. I'm looking for my next fight. I'm looking to uh, just understand what happened and what's be better for my next fight and just kind of going from there. I'm loving the position I'm in right now. I'm loving where I'm at with top rank and ESPN, and uh, I couldn't ask for anything more. So it's not something I'm hoping for or striving for. I'm trying to stay along this path. Hey, Richard, uh, fighting in Texas, man. Did you feel the love here? Texas, you know, this is amazing. People call it the second California. I don't make the Texas matter. It's like that, but we're all moving out there, you know? So, yeah. this is a beautiful spot. I was in Sugar Land, and Sugar Land's amazing. You know, there's I eat Chipotle every day. And, uh, <laughs> there, you know? I gotta get some good food. That doesn't out. count as Mexican food. <laughs> hey, 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 we got, we got some other extra to try right now. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Right, hey, thank you, Rich, man. Have a good one.